Today's question is, what does it mean that God is love? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Let's look at how the Bible describes love, and then we will see a few ways in which God is the essence of love. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 8. This is God's description of love. And because God is love, 1 John chapter 4, verse 8, this is what he is like. God does not force himself on anyone. Those who come to him do so in response to his love. God shows kindness to all. Jesus went about doing good to everyone without partiality. Jesus did not covet what others had, living a humble life without complaining. Jesus did not brag about who he was in the flesh, although he could have overpowered anyone he ever came in contact with. God does not demand obedience. God did not demand obedience from his son, but rather Jesus willingly obeyed his Father in heaven. The world must learn that I love the Father and that I do exactly what my Father has commanded me. John chapter 14, verse 31. Jesus was and is always looking out for the interests of others. The greatest expression of God's love is communicated to us in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Romans chapter 5, verse 8 proclaims the same message. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We can see from these verses that it is God's greatest desire that we join him in his eternal home, heaven. He has made the way possible by paying the price for our sins. He loves us because he chose to as an act of his will. Love forgives. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. So, what does it mean that God is love? Love is an attribute of God. Love is a core aspect of God's character, his person. God's love is in no sense in conflict with his holiness, righteousness, justice, or even his wrath. All of God's attributes are in perfect harmony. Everything God does is loving, just as everything he does is just and right. God is the perfect example of true love. And amazingly, God has given those who receive his son Jesus as their personal savior the ability to love as he does through the power of the Holy Spirit. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content. And check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, you got questions, the Bible has answers and will help you find them.